Hi guys, Nicole here. I've had a few community members ask me about how I built the drag and drop interaction that's included in the weekly challenge compilation that I recently shared in the community. The idea is a drag and drop network of people. You drag the people into their correct spots to view more information about their challenge submission. When all the drag items are in place, you'll see a custom message. I've gone ahead and created a fully developed template for you guys, so all you need to do is drop in your own images and update the text. So let me walk you through how I created this, and after I'll explain how you can edit the template for your own use. On this slide, you'll see that I have this base layer, which is where I've set up my freeform drag and drop interaction. The six images down here are my drag items. The blue circles are my drop targets. I've also included six layers, one for each drag item in my interaction. Each drag item has a few states, normal, drop correct, and disabled. If I move this picture out of the way, you'll see that I've placed a duplicate image that is lighter directly behind it. This is so when we drag away the drag item, it doesn't leave a big empty space. I also have another use for these images, which I will explain shortly. As I mentioned, my drop targets are these blue ringed circles. The outer circle has a glow state. When I hover over a drag item, the corresponding drop target will glow. This lets the user know where the item should be dragged to. I've set up my drag and drop interaction so I can only drop an item on its correct drop target. If I drop it on the wrong target, it returns to its original spot. As I mentioned, my drag items have a drop correct state. When a drag item is dropped on the correct drop target, if you've created a drop correct state for your object, the drag item state will automatically become drop correct. And what I've done is I've set up a trigger at the slide level that tells Storyline to display the corresponding layer that goes with the drag item, but only when the drag item state becomes drop correct. In other words, when it's dropped on the correct drop target. I set up one of these triggers for each drag item. When we drag an item onto the correct drop target, our trigger displays the corresponding layer. Here on this layer, I've added a trigger to the close button that turns our drag item state to disabled. This means you can no longer drag it around. Because of that, I made it so you can click the image in the bottom row in case you want to revisit the layer or reread the information. So that's another reason I wanted to use these faded duplicate images. Finally, I added a completed state to my text box here. I set up a trigger at the slide level that says that when all six drag items have the disabled state to show the completed state for my text box. The state includes a button that you can assign a trigger to so the user can move forward. So that's the functionality behind the drag and drop interaction. So now let me show you how easy it is to customize this template and add your own content to it. All you need to do to update this template is update the images, drop in the correct text information, and make changes to the color scheme to match your project. To update the drag items, have your PNG type images pre-cropped in a true circle with a transparent background. A true circle has the same height and width. I'll create another video tutorial showing you how to crop your images into circles if you don't know how, but have them ready to go and simply choose the change image feature to update your images. After, hide your images using the eyeball icon. You can then update your second set of images. And a really good tip is that you can edit them all at once to add the transparency effect. When you're finished, unhide the drag items. Your next step is to update all the corresponding layers. Use the handy change picture feature to update your image and replace the text with your own information. You can easily do this for each layer in your project. 
The last step is to update the color scheme to make it your own as well as the text information. So I'll simply update my title and my subtitle and I'll make a few simple color changes. I'll also jump into this layer and make a few simple edits to the text and colors on this slide. And now if we have a look at our finished result, we've created our own custom drag and drop interaction using these images in just a few moments. Hopefully you learned a few things from my explanation about how I pulled this all together. I think you can see for yourself from the demo that updating the interaction to add your own content is a breeze and it can be done in a few simple steps. Thanks for watching.